Shalom, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Kakadash. And double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and brothers on the Great Millstone. Salutations to the few like this is Brother Rai by Yam Yam. Here to share another lesson. And uh, when I saw this lesson um, yesterday, <coughs> the Spirit took me to do a. Um, when I saw the article yesterday, it's like yeah, the Spirit took me to do a lesson on it. So, um, you know, now that the Spirit is suffering with me. <laughs> I decide to do it, um, you know, real quick, you know, so Lord, when it be a defined under the elect. And uh, we are living in a time where people are not taking, you know, wise counsel uh, spiritually to repent and, you know, come back to our Lord. This is for the Israelites and uh, worldly advice. They're not taking that either because you have this. Um, this investigator, this financial advisor, Dave Ramsey, you know, he, he's advising a lot of millennials, a lot of young people to sacrifice, um, not buying, you know, the day-to-day -day coffee, which costs six to ten dollars. Um, the one well, the ones that they pay for is expensive, and they buy that every day. So he was, you know, he's known for telling a lot of young people to do what they can to get out of debt. To sacrifice a few things to put off a few things and you know starting with you know Yahweh Yahweh Shai and then to our elder apostles on down you, you know with this word you know we are taught to sacrifice worldly things so that we can have uh, spiritual gain you know what I mean in salvation but these who be in Babylon they don't want to sacrifice the little things like the coffee to gain uh, financial freedom down the line you know they don't see it because they are so heavily into debt and they don't see any way out you understand and this is why a lot of people are going to take the MOTB in the end because they don't see any way out and the MOTB presented will be the only way that they can see the light at the tunnel so to speak so I'm going to read the article uh, share free scriptures and close it out of law will it be edifying unto the elect and this is why we need to be strong man. we need to be strong in the spirit we are not losing anything on this side man the next kingdom is ours uh, when I put a business, AOL business news <sighs> so, okay. it says I'd rather be ca caffeinated than depressed with six dollars uh, young Americans are rejecting Dave Ramsey's financial advice. Here's why they say they are not willing to do anything to get out of debt. It says uh, Dave Ramsey has fervently preached financial advice to Americans for decades, but younger generations are now slamming the white bearded radio host for offering counsel that doesn't quite account for the current course of living crisis. One fraughty example is Ramsey's uh, vociferous annunci annunciation that the look at that word of vociferous To shout out to yell, to cry out. So it was an outcry to, uh, to try and convince them about a particular thing. Now let's read on to find out what that particular thing is. So Dave Ramsey has uh, uh, continued on. It says, One fraughty example is Dave Ramsey vociferous, which is an outcry, right? Cry out. Annunciation that the uh, Daily Cup of Joe. <laughs> Of the Daily Cup of Joe. In a 2021 blog post, he claims your coffee habit could be costing you $766 a year and suggests folks should put those funds toward paying their uh, student uh, debt, their investments, or even a plane ticket. Uh, don't miss 
Real commercial real estate has beaten the stock market for 25 years, but only the super rich could buy in. Here's how an ordinary investor can. What is this part of the article? Is this trying to get me to think? I just read it anyway. Uh, here's how even ordinary investors can become the landlord of Walmart, Whole Foods, and Kruger. Inflation is still white hot. Uh, use these three real assets to protect your wealth today, no matter what the U.S. Fed does or says. Anything can happen in 2024. Try these uh, five money hacks to help you make and save thousands of dollars in the new year. They will only take seconds. I know that was a plug you know, to invest in some stuff, but let's continue with the article. It says, but young Americans argued they'd rather sustain their mental well-being and hold on to the small, lux- the small luxuries that bring them joy rather than saving a little extra cash. Right, so this generation is weak, man. <clears throat> you know? Uh... I remember my parents' generation, and even us growing up, uh, we did not have water in our faucets a lot of the time, so we would have to walk about two miles, man, um, to get water out of a standpipe in the next town over and uh, fill up our buckets or bottles, you know, with water so that we have something to drink, do dishes, so on and so forth, and to cook. And uh, we would have to fill up take a shower at that standpipe and then fill our bottles and buckets and uh, carry it back to the houses about two miles away you know these are young people they don't know they don't know anything about that they don't know anything you know about how to live this is why when they pull the plug they're going to do everything that they can to hold on to what they call the small luxuries <laughs> it says uh Self-care is, a, is a extremely important, that is true. And if that means buying a $6 coffee every day, do it. Gerald Benson, a 32-year-old comedian from Orlando, Florida, told Business Insider. I mean, man, I mean, you know, I stopped drinking the coffee. Um, there is natural cocoa, unsweetened cocoa that you could drink that... They don't have to buy these things um, out there. You know, they can make it at home. So, like, what I do, I buy the unsweetened natural cocoa, put some hot water in it. I don't have to add any sugar. Maybe a little bit of creamer um, or a um, little bit of milk and drink it hot. You know what I'm saying? Because that adds up. You know, he's right. The, the Dave Ramsey guy is right. It adds up. But they can make something nice at home. There's a lot of recipes out there. Um, it says, I'd rather be caffeinated than depressed with $6. <sighs> it says, uh, social media users are scorning Dave Ramsey's advice. The hashtag uh, Dave Ramsey wouldn't approve has about 67 million views on TikTok. It's cause of users posting videos criticizing the financial, the finance personality for being out of touch with reality and shaming their money habits. Benson, for example, didn't hesitate to jump on the bandwagon with his own content featuring himself sipping a pumpkin cream cold brew or getting a $4 crumble cookie before... Uh, Cutting into dim div cutting into Ramsey's post sonation watching menacingly from a distance. <laughs> it's clear that Ramsey's advice, which often includes living frugally or taking on more work to increase your income, doesn't quite resonate with younger listeners. In a recent TikTok, uh, Kate Heinemann a 31 year old administrative assistant in Pasadena, California, emphasizes that her mental health and quality of life 
are far, far more important to her. I'm not willing to do anything to get out of debt, she says. Wow, man, wow. That's a hard statement. I'm not willing to eat rice and beans every day. Isn't this what the ancestors did in 19, uh, 13, 1929 with the Great Depression? They cooked, they drank soup, long water soup, until better could be done. Uh, says, I'm not willing to have three jobs and not spend time with my children. I'm not willing to forego my favorite salad on a Friday. Uh, Heinemann explains that her bills are so massive that a little extra cash safe here and there isn't making a major debt in her debt. Uh, the cost of living on low wages is to blame for the financial woes of most Americans. She says, being told that we can incrementally make these big differences if we just give up our quality of life for five to ten years is, is absurd. Dave Ramsey's advice isn't always right. Heinemann decided to convert 30000 in credit card debt into debt consolidation loan with the interest rate of 8%, a tactic that Ramley famously despises and claims does actually work. Of course, just like any debt solving hack, it depends. It can be harder to keep track of multiple <laughs> credit cards once at once than pay off one bill each month. Plus, if you secure a low interest rate on your loan than what you were grappling with on your credit cards, this can be a great opportunity to save hundreds or thousands of dollars on your debt load in the long run. On the other hand, there could be additional costs involved with your new loan, such as repayment penalties, prepayment penalties, or late payment fees. But Ramsey's own recommendation, the snowball method in which folks pay off the smallest debt or account with the lowest balance first and make only minimum payments on all the other outstanding debts might not be the right solution either. While this method could offer some the behavioral incentives to keep going, it can also end up costing you more in interest and take longer to clear your debt compared to cracking down on high interest debt first. But Dave Ramsey would say is, I don't care if paying down the highest interest debt first is cheapest because if you are given up midway through, that's more expensive. Uh, James Shaw, a, prof a financial professor at Yale School of Management, told the uh, Wall Street Journal, I think the jury is out on that. Yeah, so nobody wants to uh, work hard like the generations of old. Uh, for things, man. Hmm. Maybe this one comment it says here the snowball method works but with a couple of conditions first keeping a low credit line card is a practical need if that doesn't work use actual cash if you are overcharging credit card chances are you will overdraw with a debit card that can be even worse all others should be frozen in a block of ice so they are hard to get to. Next to next base the snowball on interest rates, not balances. The dollar does not care what the card is on. Pay the highest interest rate first. Uh retire the balance and lower both 
the amount owed and the overall interest rate repeat as needed the rate you pay the remaining balances will accelerate with lowering overall interest rates and this is what they don't want to do they want to sacrifice to pay down their their debts and why would they right why would they sacrifice to pay down debts when their leader is uh, not doing that either um, just read two scriptures just goes to show the times that we are living in this is Sirach 10 and verse 2 it says I read from verse 1 it says a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered as the judge of the people is himself right as the judge of the people is himself so are the officers and what manner of man the ruler of a city is such are all they that dwell therein so if the current administration does not want to spend less and pay down their debt. Why would the people want to spend less to pay down their debt? Right? So as the current administration is, as the current ruling power is, so are the people. So the government is spending, spending, spending. Right? Like there is no tomorrow. And the people will continue to spend and enjoy their things like there is no tomorrow. So there's no sacrifices on both sides uh, the judges which is the the government or, or, or ruling seat and from the people and this is why the scriptures are important this is why it's important to read and and lastly i'm going to read proverbs chapter 21 and 2 it says when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked be a red rule, the people mourn. So these people, they are mourning. You know what I mean? Because deep down, they know that they wouldn't have the financial freedom with that debt, that massive amount of debt that is lingering on them. When they decide to really go on vacation and buy things and do things, they would be limited. Even with the credit cards maxed out. A lot of people use credit cards to go on vacations and stuff. Right? They will be limited on their movements or what they could um buy to enjoy because of the the heavy debts they are bought yet you understand but Esau is gonna bring the Assyria in the future which is the the Motibi and they will gladly uh you know accept you know because they used to they, they are just waiting for a free uh, pay out man you understand so no one is willing to sacrifice so you know sacrifice in the spirit so that we can receive uh, salvation and use wisdom with the finances and the money that the most high gave you pray for daily bread daily bread is, is all we need right now right and the blessing of the Lord you know, he's going to take care of us when we can no longer go and work these jobs. So Lord, within this quick lesson, was edifying unto you. Let him know. Till the next time, shalom.